In this video, I'll be showing you how to save and load patches for the Korg Volca Keys using the Midi Goblin. The Volca Keys is a great little synth. It's got a snazzy design, a built-in speaker, it's affordable, simple, and all these things have made it one of the most popular introductory synths on the market. One of the biggest drawbacks of the Volca Keys is its inability to save patches. It has the memory of an Etch-a-Sketch. None. This can be really frustrating if you've come up with a sound you like and want to use it later. Thankfully, the MIDI Goblin can take advantage of the Volca's 5-pin input to save and load patches. But wait, the Volca Keys doesn't have MIDI out. How do you save a patch for it? We can do this by simply running MIDI control change values through the Goblin into the Volca Keys. The values of those CC parameters can be saved on the Goblin and reloaded later. You can also do the relatively easy MIDI out mod for the Volca keys, but it's actually not really necessary. You can just use a MIDI controller or a computer with a USB to MIDI jack, plug that into the MIDI goblin, and then plug it into the Volca. After that, you can use a DAW to send the MIDI messages required by the Volca keys. In this video, I'll be using a MIDI controller to craft patches rather than my computer. This is because it looks better on camera and I don't want to clean my desk area. If you're using an old MIDI controller that can't change its CC parameters, you can use the MIDI Goblin's remap feature to accomplish this. Before we get started, just a quick reminder, the Kickstarter launch date for MIDI Goblin is April the 30th, 2024. Start by adding the Volca keys to the MIDI Goblin. There is a tutorial on how to do this in the video description, but to make things easier, I'll have all the required files, a template patch, and some test patches hosted on midigoblin.com when the MIDI Goblin comes out. After that, plug the MIDI controller into the MIDI Goblin's input and the MIDI Goblin's output into the Volca Keys input. Make sure to enable MIDI CC through in the MIDI Goblin setting menu. The values sent to the Volca by the MIDI controller will be saved in the patch files, so you'll want to make sure everything's nice and synced up. You can sync the MIDI Goblin and the Volca by moving all the sliders, or just load the template patch file from midigoblin.com. Loading the file will sync everything up instantly. Once everything's synced, just use the MIDI controller to create some patches. When you're done saving patches, you don't need your computer or MIDI controller anymore. You can load patches onto the Volca without them. But loading patches while they're connected does work too. The Volca key seems to respond to MIDI CC messages a little slower than other synths, but it works just fine. There's only one problem. This one value here. I haven't been able to find any documentation about it online, so we can't save that parameter value. Saving and loading patches will work just fine. You just have to remember not to move that one knob. Or if you do, remember where you moved it. It's a trade-off, yes, but a good one if you ask me. I'd rather remember where one knob is rather than all of them. Or I just won't move it at all. And that's it. We've successfully saved and loaded patches onto our Volca keys. This method could be really useful for musicians who want to save a sound on a recording and use it live later. I'll try the same method out on the NTS-1 or the Moog Minotaur when I get my hands on one. And that's it for today. Please visit midigoblin.com for more information. Don't forget to sign up for the email list. We'll send you an email when the Kickstarter is about to launch. You can follow us here on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. We'll have more videos coming out in the near future showing the MIDI Goblin working with other synthesizers. Goodbye!